welcome to Labrail. This is Jamal. In this review, we're going to be looking at the G-Storm GS2 2-Block Thermal Cycler. Hi, over the next few minutes I'm going to be reviewing the G-Storm GS2 Dual Block Thermal Cycler. Um, you might see some similarities Im immediately between this and the MJ Research PTC Dyad. Um, this is a newer unit with some enhancements and some really nice new features. Um, you can see the dual blocks here and the large touchscreen display here. Over the next few minutes we're going to be taking a look at some of the other features in a little more detail. The G-Storm has a turnstile locking lid that looks very similar to the BioRad and the MJ Research locking mechanisms. However, um, this unit has some significant improvements and changes. With the BioRad and the MJ units, um, it relied on a rotary locking system whereby you had to literally tighten the lid um, into place. This has got a slightly more advanced and better system. Um, to unlock, simply turn and we're done. Um, this reduces mechanical wear and is obviously a lot simpler for you to use. I actually have with me the um, 96 weld block for um, this unit. Um, it inserts very easily, simply place into place here and lock and then simply shut the lid to lock the unit. It's that simple. The G-Storm is the perfect thermal cycler solution for when you need twice the throughput or twice the capacity for your thermal cycling procedures. The unit itself is good looking and it has an easy to use platform that combines medium to high throughput capacities. This obviously benefits your lab with additional flexibility. The design and feel of the GS2 balances thermal performance characteristics with ease of operation. This results in a cycler that would deliver you the results you demand while looking great in your laboratory. The color touchscreen is at the heart of the GS2's control. The user interface has features that make the programming, file management, and cycler control intuitive and logical. Now that we're talking about the software, um, let's take a closer look at the large 8.4 inch touchscreen interface that we mentioned earlier. So here we have the home screen for the G-Storm GS2. Um, we can quickly move between left and right block as simply as that. You can also see there's a number of options available to us. If we just take a few of these, for example, we've got new program, view edit program, run program, reports, and the program wizard. Um, if we click on new program, for example, the G-Storm will begin um, to start to walk us through a number of logical steps that will help us achieve what we're trying to gain. Something that makes things even simpler is the program wizard. Now with the program wizard, all you need to do is literally enter a number of um, very simple parameters. The G-Storm will then perform a number of calculations for you and help you achieve um, your procedure in just a few simple clicks. If you're new to molecular biology, um, you might find programming a, th a thermal cycler, any thermal cycler, quite a daunting process. Um, that's not the case with the G-Storm. That's mainly thanks to the onboard um, software anyone should find the unit, um, unit intuitive and easy to learn. Um, it remains extremely powerful and can handle your most complex um, protocols. A site license for the G-Storm programming software is also provided with the unit. Um, this enables experimental design and programming directly from your desktop. Protocols can be transferred um, via memory stick from your PC straight to the GS2 unit. With so many features, in one machine, combined with incredible ease of use, you'd be very impressed with the GS2 from G-Storm. You can choose between the standard block and fast blocks. Both blocks are available in 96 or 384 well options. The standard block has a ramp rate of 3 degrees Celsius, while the fast block has a ramp rate of 6 degrees Celsius. G-Storm utilizes new electroplating process to reduce material thermal mass. The fast blocks are made from solid silver with a gold finish. They have incredible thermal conductivity properties that enable better heating and cooling capability. If you are already familiar with the MJ Research PTC, Dyad or Tetrad PCR thermal cyclers, um, this unit will make a perfect transition to a more current and modern instrument. Bear in mind though, this is a high throughput 
um, device and does require a significant amount of bench space. So if you're short of space in your laboratory, maybe you might want to consider a more compact unit. That being said, if you will benefit from processing multiple plates um, at one time in one device and you have the space in your laboratory for it, the G-Storm GS2 would be a very viable option. If you came across this video on YouTube, or any other website for that matter, um, please be aware we do have a full product review website at labreal.com. Um, there you'll find other product reviews for instruments much like this one, as well as many other instruments for your laboratory. Um, if you are on the Labreal website, remember there's a full specifications table below for any details we may have overlooked, as well as a contact the seller button and a ask a question about the product button. Um, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please do like us on Facebook, tell your friends, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks.